you're the city leader of our business in Hangzhou in China. And that's, for our audience, very, very interesting because China was both where the coronavirus originated, uh, but also it's the leading edge of the recovery uh, uh, post-management of the pandemic within your markets. So you both closed and have now reopened. So can you tell me, how is the marketplace, how is life in Hangzhou today? Uh, by now, I think the government has well controlled the virus and it has, uh, I think for most of the place it's safe and people uh, has been restarted their work. And I think in the office building, nearly 19% of the companies has been back to mom normal. Um, yeah, uh, now and people are all also working hard to save the economy. So I think uh, everything is now uh, under control and uh, things will go better. And have your members, I think your occupancy is in the high 80s uh, in terms of uh, the, the number of clients in the center. But what has been the attendance of people coming to your center? Some of the company, when they still back to work, they can't have the order. I mean, they don't get the business back. So they don't need so much workforce to be in the office. That's the normal uh, issues they are facing. And they are also facing of the cash flow uh, insufficiency. So uh, I think there are less people, I mean, the traffic in the centers compared to yeah. the pandemic or the pandemic. Yeah. I agree with you, Kenneth. I think that the return to work is going to be and is proving to be a gradual event. Uh, just because the government said come back to work and just because the executive center is open doesn't mean that everybody rushes back. But, uh, you know, what we're seeing is that companies are using their executive center private offices as their base for their company. And then some of their team, some of their staff are working from home, but then there's always a core group that's in the office. Are you finding the same in Hangzhou? Yes, um, many of them are working at home, but they still communicate with them online and just like we are doing. So uh, I think people have changed their work, uh, their way of working. Your location um, within Hangzhou is in, in the core of the, of the city. Um, what's it like on the streets? Are people you know, going to restaurants, walking around? Is it you know, when you go out of our executive center, you, know, you, you, you have a beautiful city there. I mean, is it feeling more normal or, you know, is it still a bit guarded? Uh, it's, it's actually interesting. Uh, for the restaurants, uh, they are getting the more and more business uh, back because people now they are, uh, I think they don't, they don't worry the virus and they start uh, go to the restaurants and uh, have the lunch and dinner together. So that's uh, the most phenomen phenomenon things we have seen. Uh, during this month. We recently picked up a second location there. Uh, what's, what's been yeah. the impact uh, of the coronavirus pandemic on the timing of that? Are you still on track to open your second center um, or have you had to delay it or adjust the, the plans? We have performing uh, even, uh, even much better than ever before because we have uh, more clients coming in and uh, uh, we have uh, better Price actually, our price didn't drop, but for the new centers because it's in a different location, and uh, we can't forecast the uh, pipeline right now because it will be opened uh, three months later. But now I haven't delayed any. Uh, I'm not planning to delay the center opening, and uh, uh, it's a very unique location. We don't have so many uh, competitions there, so I still have confidence that TEC will be. Uh, well positioned. You have high occupancy. You haven't really dropped your price. You haven't delayed your second center opening because you have a strong pipeline for it. I mean, that is not the doom and gloom story that I would have frankly expected. If you've been managing your team in the membership, um, it's been, you know, months of hard work for you. How are you coping with it yourself? I mean, it's a lot of stress. And you're the le you're the leader. Um, you know, tell me what's your secret uh, for being such a happy, a positive guy. May go back to my first job uh, because I was uh, I have been working for Disneyland in Florida when it, 
actually it's my first job. I found that um, the positive thinking is very important for all the staff. Although we are under stress, we still have to keep our mind positive and to find the opportunities uh, in the market. So what I'm uh, implementing the culture is that we have to keep everybody equal and I trust them and keep them empowered. It's very important to empower them and to trust them to uh, work as a team rather than just like, uh, yeah, ourselves. That's, that's, that's great. So tr tr trust and, and empower your team. What a, what a great message for everybody. And it, it does mirror our one team methodology in, in the executive center where we do respect each other. And on every given good day, we rely on each other to all do our jobs so that collectively we can have a strong result.